What is the political climate like at Liberty? This is a great question. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Maddie. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to be filming a Q&A for you guys. So I recently did one of those Instagram stories like I always do and I asked you guys to ask me questions. I didn't really give any like parameters as to what the Q&A was going to be about, but as usual, a lot of these questions ended up being about Liberty University. For those of you who don't know, I'm actually a freshman at Liberty University this year. I absolutely love it, but I will get into that later. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'm not going to do a super long intro in this video um yeah let's just go ahead and get right into the questions this first question says what self tanner do you use so i actually went and grabbed this before i started filming this video but i use a drugstore self tanner i've never actually used like a high-end self tanner i don't know why i probably should try one at some point but i use the jurgens natural glow instant sun and this is the mousse one and i guess i accidentally got the bronze so we will see how that goes. I usually get like the medium one though. This works really well for me. I make sure to like exfoliate, shave, like moisturize, do all of that before I even start self tanning or else it will be splotchy. I also use a mitt. You can order your mitt off of Amazon like I did or you can just get a mitt like wherever you get your self tanner at like Walmart, the grocery store, anywhere honestly that's just at a lot of convenience stores. But yeah, this is a self tanner I use. It's actually really good and I recommend it. This question says, what church do you go to in Lynchburg? and I'm actually kind of like in the process of finding the church that I want to go to. I actually went to Elevation Church back where I'm from in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's absolutely amazing and there's not a lot of churches like that in Lynchburg. Obviously Elevation is an absolutely massive amazing church and Lynchburg doesn't have any churches that are like as big. There is actually an Elevation but it's in Roanoke which is like an hour away. So I've been to that one once. Um, some churches that I do like in Lynchburg though are Passion Community Church and I really liked Hope Co. Those are two churches that I really did like, but I'm gonna still kind of jump around and see where I feel the most at home. I know people who are like sophomores and juniors who still haven't found their church home. It's hard, like there's literally so many churches in Lynchburg, but I've loved all the ones I've gone to so far, but definitely the two ones that I've loved the most are Passion Community Church and Hope Co. How old were you when you got a tattoo and your nose pierced and what was the pain level okay so I got my nose pierced I believe it was okay so it was like this summer between junior and senior year of high school and then I got my tattoo I also think that same summer so I think I was like 17 when I got both of them and the tattoo that I have right here this one didn't hurt that bad I also have one on my rib that one hurt really really bad and the nose piercing didn't hurt that bad but I would say that I have a pretty high pain tolerance so take with that what you may <laughs> this question says what are the rules on campus at liberty like dress code missing class curfew etc so i know a lot of the rules are actually on the liberty website but just to like sum a few of them up so our dress code is not like incredibly enforced there is a dress code one dress code rule that they like are not playing any games with is like girls cannot wear and i think guys too we can't wear shorts to class that kind of sucks when it's really hot outside but it really isn't that bad and i like rarely have stuff that like i can't wear to class um you can wear ripped jeans you can like kind of wear crop stuff if it's not like too cropped so yeah i've literally never had any problem with dress code um, missing class, I know for most classes you can miss like three or four classes. It depends on the class. They will review it in the syllabus once you get to class. Curfew is 12 a.m. on weekdays and then 12.30 on weekends. What do you tell the guys that ask you out indirectly but are not interested? Um, I don't feel like I've ever like experienced that necessarily. <laughs> But I don't know, I feel like a guy should definitely ask you out directly to your face. Girls, like, don't go for any guys who won't, like, muster up the courage to ask you out in person or tell you that they're interested in you in person. Like, yeah, don't settle for guys who don't do that. We need confident men. Things you wish you knew before coming to Liberty. Okay, I literally filmed that video, like, I would say like a month ago. So I will link that video down below for you guys. And some of these questions are more like specific questions regarding Liberty. So I'm going to answer those ones. But for that question, I have a whole video on it. So I'll link that one down below. Best ways to get connected with people in the first few weeks of freshman year at Liberty. I would say go to as many events as you can. So for example, I know at least for me, we had like a movie night, like one of the first weekends, we had this thing called a block party. A band came and there was music and like rides and stuff. There 
was that. There was like a bingo night. So like definitely try to get involved in as many ways as you can and go to as many things as you can and sit by people you don't know. Obviously go like make it a group thing, like go with the girls or guys that you've met on your hall already and then do that. But also like try to sit by people that you haven't met before. I know there's this one guy in, partic in particular, I'm not gonna say his name, but I actually like met him on bingo night. And like now every time I see him, I say hi. And it's like, oh, like I wouldn't have known him if had it not been for going to that one like seemingly lame event so definitely go to all the things that you're like oh this is stupid nobody's gonna go because actually a lot of people go and it's really fun and you'll meet people that aren't just on your hall i think it's really great to have friends that live like all over campus so that you can meet their friends and then you'll start having like a ton of people that you know who live all over campus and i don't know it just makes your world a lot bigger than just your dorm and your building and your hall this is a really good question and it says is it hard to register for classes and get the classes that you want so for my experience when registering for classes i ended up like calling i don't exactly know like who exactly i called but i called one of the like liberty help lines or like academic services or something of that nature and the person that was like on the other end of the call actually like directed me and like pretty much walked me through like scheduling like all of my classes and helped me make my entire schedule for first semester. So second semester is when you like actually have like your counselor though that you can go to on campus. And so since my major is global studies, like my advisor is in the School of Divinity. And so I will like actually physically go to his office now in terms of like scheduling classes for this semester. So yeah, once you're in person, you'll be able to schedule them like with your actual advisor. But I would recommend calling a helpline if you can find one. I don't really know if that's helpful, but I didn't do it all on my own if that makes you feel any better because it is kind of confusing. But in terms of like registering for classes, I would say that I like definitely think that I put like a like calendar thing in my phone like to alert me like on the day that I had to register for classes and I think it should be on like the Liberty website or your like my LU account as to when like class registration starts for y'all but yeah definitely put it in your phone have it alert you so that you can be like on track but I would also say there's like a over a hundred seats in like most classes so you should be good but definitely make it a priority to try to register as soon as you're able to because that's what i did and i got into all the classes that i wanted to get into plus there's supposed to be like a lot more liberty students in the class of 2024 like than in the class of 2023 like it grows every year and the campus is growing at such a like exponential rate so i would say yeah try to make sure that you can schedule a time so that you can get into those classes this question says does anyone live off of campus and what their experiences so actually <laughs> my roommate is living off campus next year hopefully. hopefully fingers crossed but um yeah a lot of people like do live off campus i think it's mostly like upperclassmen or like sophomores through seniors usually freshmen live on campus i think you have to your freshman year unless you're like a, a commuter or something but yeah i would say there are a lot of people who live off of campus and most people really like it like it definitely depends on like your schedule and like how free you are to like have to drive to class or like I don't know because the parking is a thing and parking sucks at Liberty so I don't know if you feel as though you can handle that definitely do it there are people that do it but I wouldn't recommend it for freshman year because you want to meet people okay so this question says um what are your new year's resolutions okay so believe it or not I wrote it on a piece of paper and I have it currently like magneted up to this like magnet whiteboard on my wall i'm not being able to speak right now whiteboard. whiteboard but it's like magnetized so i have it up on there so these are my goals some of these seem kind of shallow because these are just very random goals some of them are deep some of them aren't so i'm gonna read them to y'all the first thing says read more and i like listed them out there's like 11 of them so the first one is read more whether that be the bible or fun books because i love to read these are the books that i got at this used a bookstore when i was back at home and i have yet to open any of them but they all look really good and i want to read these because i don't know i feel like that is something that I enjoy. So I wanna do more things that I like enjoy, which happens to be on this list too. So the second one says blog, because I do have a blog, believe it or not. My YouTube channel has like taken up that like available link in my bio. Otherwise I would have like both of them. 
but every time I post like a blog post, I'll like take out my YouTube thing and like put in my blog. So I love to blog and I wanna do that more. Three, keep up that YouTube grind. I wanna be like more on fire for YouTube. Um, four, reach out to people I wouldn't usually reach out to. I feel like I often get in the same routine, hanging out with the same people. That's what's so nice about a new semester though, is like being able to see like different people in my classes and spend more time with them. So that's one of them. Five, continue to pray for my husband. Six, be intentional with everything. Thing. I feel like honestly like the word intentional is becoming more popularized I don't know maybe at least that's just on liberty everybody uses that word all the time but I feel like it's a really important word and it's very important to be intentional especially with the people that you care about in your life seven work out a get on the dean's list again nine um get in the word like read the bible more 10, make time for what's important to me. For example, set days to pour into different people. And then I listed some of those people. 11, live in the moment, but don't be afraid to say no because I say yes to everything. It's not good, it's not healthy. So I need to be better at saying no and going to bed early and getting my sleep. And I feel like, yes, Abigail's been going to bed very early, but I've been getting going to bed a lot earlier than I usually do. So that's that, those are my resolutions. I get this question like all the time. But it says, how hard is it to adjust to school outside of your state? I'm going to Liberty this fall and I'm nervous out my mind. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I am from Charlotte, North Carolina. And so Liberty is like three and a half hours away from me because Liberty is in Lynchburg, Virginia. So it's in a different state for me, but it also was just like not super far away. So I honestly, personally, if I'm being completely honest, I would say, I am not a very homesick person. Like I can easily like separate myself and be like, okay, like this is where I am now. I'm going to live in the moment. I'm very good at living in the moment. So I would say it wasn't like the biggest struggle for me, but I also know some people where it was a big struggle and it was something that they had to pray through and like let the Lord give them peace about. So I would say for me, it wasn't difficult, but I also think that has to do with the fact that this is a Christian environment and you're clothed in prayer and love every day and everybody is just so nice. So. I would say it's definitely easier to adjust to Liberty than it is to adjust to any other school in my completely biased opinion. So yeah, I think you're gonna be fine. <laughs> what other colleges did you apply to? So I applied to obviously Liberty. I applied to Samford, which is in Alabama. And I applied to Anderson, which is in South Carolina. And I applied to Belmont, which is in Nashville, Tennessee. And my sister's actually going to be going to Belmont, which is really cool. So yeah, Lily will be at Belmont. What is the political climate like at Liberty? This is a great question. Okay, so as a whole, I would say that Liberty is a very conservative school and it's not like a secret. Like everybody knows because our president is very vocal about his political beliefs beliefs and yeah but I will also say that there are definitely people we're not like all conservatives here like there's a ton of people who have different beliefs and we also actually have a lot of people come to convocation and they're like very 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 not conservative like very far left and we do hear from people that aren't just conservative but the school as a whole is pretty conservative or at least the president is I think the better wording would be like the president is very conservative but you're free to believe whatever you want to believe I think that's an awesome thing about it and I think it's cool that we have had other people that have different beliefs coming in and speaking to us which is awesome this question says what is your favorite class of this semester so far so I'm actually only taking three residential classes this semester as I'm filming this it's a Wednesday I don't have classes Monday Wednesday Friday um, for my second semester and my three residential classes are on Tuesdays and Thursdays so I have Bible global studies which is my major and then evangelism so I'm literally taking a pretty light load this semester I actually do have three online though, but I have one class per term. So right now I'm taking research, which is a required class for all freshmen to take. And it's not that like difficult. I'm not feeling necessarily super challenged right now, but then in the other terms, I'll be taking psychology because psychology is one of my minors. And then in another term, I'm taking a computer class, which is another required class. So my favorite class though, is probably my evangelism class. If you are going to Liberty next year, definitely try to take Evan with Wheeler because he's great and everybody should take it with him and I've only had like three classes of his so far and I don't know he's just a really strong man of God so I recommend taking Wheeler. This question says honest opinion about the curfew at Liberty. Okay so this is something that definitely me and my friends talk about a lot. The curfew is not amazing. I think at the beginning of the year it was more annoying to me than it is now but I think that's also because I realized that like the curfew makes you feel like you have to be out until 12 and 
I don't know like why it's like that and why everybody's like oh I have to use up like all my time that I'm allowed to be like out and like socializing with my friends but that's just the way that it is and that's the way that I was and I would come home at like not home coming back to my dorm at like 12 like right at curfew right when we were getting our curfew checks so curfew I don't know I think it's a good thing because in my opinion nothing really great happens after 12 like what are you going to do like there's honestly nothing to do so it can be annoying but i think it's definitely for our good and i think it does help me get a lot of sleep so i've been getting a lot of sleep recently i didn't get a ton in the first semester because i'd get home right at curfew but i've been going to bed a lot earlier now and i would probably say that i respect the curfew respect is a good word i don't love it i don't like it i respect it this question says how do you tell if a boy likes you and honestly i would love to know the answer to this question um but i would probably say if he is like very intentional and he like talks to you a lot i just i don't know i feel like if a guy like texts you a lot it doesn't say as much as if he like makes plans to like hang out with you and spend time with you and if he's, if he's always trying to be around you wants to hear about your life like is very intentional about that then he probably likes you if he doesn't do that and if he hides behind his phone screen on snapchat or just texts you or facetimes you all the time but won't talk to you in person he's just not the guy for you and let's level up like just don't accept that i don't think that that is an acceptable thing freedom dining plan or plus dining plan okay so the dining plans are kind of confusing online i literally had not the one that i have now at the beginning of the year because i didn't really understand the difference between them it is kind of confusing but if you're watching this and you're going to be a freshman at liberty or you want to be going to liberty i would say get the plus dining plan like plus wipes are where it's at plus swipes basically mean that you get 10 plus swipes a week and you get to go to a lot of the restaurants on campus we have a lot of different places on campus we have like a chick-fil-a a lot of different like restaurants that don't that aren't necessarily like name brand but we have like dunkin starbucks chick-fil-a i'm trying to think of any of the other ones but they're just i don't know like plus swipes are just so much better than the regular swipes you get a lot more options and plus like that like also in addition to the plus swipes you get to go to the cafeteria the raw which is great so that doesn't count as a swipe so definitely use that to your advantage but get plus swipes it's really just the way to go this is another really good question which nobody's actually asked me before but they said ranking of housing at liberty like your top three okay so i would say number one is commons i live in commons this year most of my friends live in commons there's commons one commons two and commons three um we call commons three the shoe because it's shaped like a shoe it's like a horseshoe um but i would recommend commons one or two because in commons three the common rooms or like the living rooms on each floor where guys and girls can hang out are separate so like like on for example on like floor three of the shoe you'll have a guy's common room and a girl's common room and you have to like go all the way down and like walk to the guy's side in order to go up the elevator and go into their common room in commons one and commons two we have shared common rooms so i would say commons one and two are at the top and then i would say the hill um, although it's an old housing option my mom literally lived in the hill when she went to liberty like you have two roommates which i think is also like really cool and then it's actually really close to demos which is where most everybody's classes are it's just really convenient it's also close to north campus so you can like walk to north when it's warm out when it's cold out definitely take the bus but yeah so i would say commons one and commons two the hill and then i say the circle circle is another really popular housing option it's right by commons it's really similar to the hill it's just right by commons so it's not by north and it's not like by classes or anything it's the farthest option but i've heard the community in the circle is amazing so if you're watching this and you feel as though you've been pressured to go into commons definitely know that there are other cheaper options in the hill and the circle oh this is a good one it says is it hard to be friends with guys at liberty without it becoming a relationship okay this is definitely something that you would think like going into liberty because it is a like ring by spring type culture and a lot of people do come here kind of like not necessarily like saying they're looking for their spouse but like it's a great place to meet your spouse if you both have that common ground of like loving the Lord and pursuing a relationship with the Lord and then you see somebody and you're like oh my gosh like I like you you're really cute whatever so I don't know I would say it's half and half like I don't know there are guys that are like very like relationship focused and there's other guys that are just like 
chasing after God. And those are the guys that you definitely want to be friends with and just like see what happens down the road. I would say it's, I don't know, I think for the most part, most guys are not like creepily looking for a relationship. Most guys just want to be friends and get to know you. And if you guys do come to a place where you want to have a relationship together, then they will make it known to you. They will be respectful of you if you don't want a relationship. I don't know, I think that it's like half and half, but most of the time now. Okay, so this question says, advice for someone who wants to go to Liberty without doing long distance for four years. Do you want to answer this question? I went through this NC State and we did long distance last year since he's a year older. And I really think that you shouldn't determine a school based off of like your boyfriend. I was debating between NC State and Liberty and I felt pushed towards Liberty more than NC State, but my boyfriend was there. At the end of the day, if like you guys break up, you don't want to be out of school because you chose it because of like a person yeah you want to be there because you felt like you were home to be there mm -hmm. and i think also if your relationship's like strong enough and you have that trust like you're gonna make it through it like yeah it's not gonna be like the end of the world and honestly like i think it for me at least it's for the better i mean i have like a great community of girls and i get to see my boyfriend at least like once a month and i feel like i've made that community where i wouldn't have as deep I guess of relationships and mm -hmm. my boyfriend was here I would have spent a lot of time the first week like hanging out with him because it is kind of uncomfortable those first two weeks. So that about wraps up all of the questions for this video. A lot of them were repeated. So if I didn't answer your specific question, it's because I answered it either in that video that I'm linking down below or like it was asked multiple times. So make sure to follow me on all my social medias. They're always in the description box down below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Put my post notifications on if you wanna get notified when I post a new video. And without further ado, I'm just gonna end the video and I will see you guys next Sunday with another new video. Bye.